Hi, my name is Liz, and I'm a Walgreens pharmacist. I see that you have two types of respiratory inhalers here. Would you like me to show you how to use them? That would be really helpful. Thank you. Absolutely. That's what I'm here for. Like other inhalers, dry powder inhalers, also called DPIs, help you breathe easier by getting medicine deep into your lungs. But unlike other respiratory inhalers, DPIs release a dose of medicine when you breathe in. That means that you don't have to worry about pushing down on the inhaler to release a puff of medicine and breathing in at the same time. There are a lot of different brands of DPIs, and these devices can be used both in adults and children. Before following these instructions, make sure to read the label on your inhaler to find out what type of device you have. Since you have a twist inhaler and a flex inhaler here, we'll focus on these two. They're easy to use, but each one works slightly different. I'll show you how to use the twist inhaler first. Will you help me demonstrate? Sure. Great. Start by holding the twist inhaler in an upright position with the colored base on the bottom. While you're holding the twist inhaler upright, take off the cap by holding the base and twisting the cap in a counterclockwise direction. As you lift the cap off, the dose counter on the base counts down by one and the dose is loaded. The twist inhaler is now ready to use. Make sure that the indented arrows are pointing to the dose counter. Next, breathe out completely through your mouth, pointing your face away from the inhaler. Now, place the mouthpiece of the twist inhaler into your mouth and seal your lips tightly around it. Next. While you're holding your twist inhaler horizontally, breathe in rapidly, steadily, and deeply through your mouth. Make sure that your fingers are not covering any of the ventilation holes while you're inhaling the dose. You might not taste or feel the medicine, but that's normal. Don't take an extra dose. Then take the twist inhaler out of your mouth and hold your breath for about 10 seconds. Exhale slowly with your face pointed away from the twist inhaler. Wipe the twist inhaler's mouthpiece dry with a cloth or a tissue if needed. Once you're done, check to make sure that the arrow is in line with the dose counter window. Then immediately replace the cap by twisting the cap in a clockwise direction and gently pressing down until you hear a click. This makes sure that your next dose will be loaded correctly. After each dose, Rinse your mouth with water to remove any medicine. Just be sure not to swallow the rinsing water. That was really easy. Yep, just a few simple steps. Replace your twist inhaler as needed. Remember to write the date on the cap label when you first open it. And follow the instructions on the package to safely discard your twist inhaler when it's time. Be sure to check your dose counter each time that you use your twist inhaler for the number of doses remaining, which will tell you when it's time to get a refill. Read the numbers on your dose counter from top to bottom. When the dose counter reads zero, zero, replace the cap. The unit will lock and can then be thrown away. Now for the Flexhaler DPI. When you get a new Flexhaler, you need to prime it before you can use it. To prime your Flexhaler, first hold it in an upright position and then twist to remove the cover. Holding the device in the middle, twist the bottom grip in one direction as far as it will go, and then twist it back in the other direction as far as it will go as well. It doesn't matter which direction you twist first. You will hear a click and repeat the step one more time, twisting in each direction and listening for that click. The flex inhaler is now ready to be loaded with a dose. Remember, you only need to prime a new flex inhaler, so you only need to prime it when you first open the package. To open a flex inhaler, hold it in the upright position and twist the cover and lift it off. Holding the device in the middle, twist the grip in one direction as far as it will go, and then twist it back the other direction as far as that will go. Next. Exhale completely through your mouth with your face pointing away from the flex inhaler. 
Then put the Flexhaler mouthpiece in your mouth and seal your lips tightly around it. Breathe in deeply and forcefully through your mouth. Next, take the Flexhaler out of your mouth and breathe out. Repeat these steps if more than one dose is required. Finally, place the cover on the Flexhaler and twist it shut. After each dose, be sure to rinse your mouth clean with water. Just don't swallow the water. Replace your Flexhaler as needed. Check the Flexhaler's package instructions to learn how to safely discard it. And each time you use your Flexhaler, be sure to check the dose counter for the number of doses remaining. So you'll know when it's time to order a refill. The dose counter is marked in intervals of 10 doses with either a dash or a number. You will not see the dose indicator move with each dose, but you'll usually see the indicator move each time that you use about five doses. Your inhaler is empty when the number zero on the red background reaches the middle of the dose indicator window. When you see it, it's time to throw yep. away the flex Thanks for talking us through it. Does this all make sense? Absolutely. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to your doctor or your neighborhood Walgreens pharmacist.